Here we are. We on? How do I look? I look good. I feel good. My entourage is not here. They're all sleeping. But I'm here. And I'm here with you this morning. Here in healing school. How many of you know that it is always God's will to heal you. Always. Always God's will to heal you. I want to talk to you today about why Jesus rebuked the fear. Why Jesus rebuked the fear. Huh? Jesus went into the house of Peter and his mother-in-law was laying in bed, sick of a fever, had terrible fever. I don't know what's wrong, what was wrong with her. It did, didn't say why she had a fever, but it just said she had a fever. She must have had a pretty bad fever if she was in bed. She might, maybe she had the flu. I don't know what. I, I don't know. But Jesus went into her and rebuked the fever. Now, you have to understand how he rebuked the fever. He cursed it. He cursed it. When you rebuke somebody, you say, stop that. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing right now. Well, if you say that to somebody, you're rebuking them. That's what he did with the fever. He rebuked it. I guarantee you what he said to it was, come out. Now, that begs the question, why would Jesus speak to a fever? You notice he didn't pray about the fever. So many times uh, when little kids have a fever, the mothers pray for the child. Oh, Lord, please heal my child. Then nothing happens. Fever runs its course and the child gets better. But there's people in our church with little kids. If those little kids have a fever, they will bring the children to me. They'll bring them to my house. And they'll come in and bang on the door and say, Pastor Jim, the, the, the kids are in the car and they're running a fever. Can you come out and pray for them? I will go out, open the back door. The little guys are sitting there in their car seats looking at me and they know me and they just, they smile when they see me. I say, you foul spirit, come out of there in Jesus' name. And I touch them on the head. I go around and do the same thing with the other one if they both got it. By the time they get home, they're better. I rebuke the fever. Let me tell you what I did yesterday. Twice, two different occasions, I rebuked cancer. Two different occasions yesterday, I rebuked cancer. You know, you can rebuke cancer just as easy as you can rebuke a fever. What's the difference? I, a week ago, Monday, Mary was having a, uh, a ladies craft night here at the church. So I brought her and Jean down here and dropped them off. And because I didn't want them to close up down here at night by themselves. So I dropped them off 
and I and I left and went back home. And at about uh, they think I think they started about six thirty, about seven thirty. Uh, well, after I dropped them off, I went back home and I sat down on the couch, and all of a sudden. Everybody knows what I'm talking about right now. All of a sudden, I had a full-blown cold. This cold came over me, and I started to sneeze, and I was just sneezing my head off, and, and it was just a full-blown cold just coming into me right now. You've been there. You know exactly how this works. We say, oh, no, I'm getting a cold. I said, no. I said, you get out of me right now in the name of Jesus. And I kept on sneezing. Kept on sneezing. I sat there and sneezed and blew my nose and sneezed some more and blew my nose. And by the time I left the house at 7.30, about an hour later, a little over an hour, because I had brought them down a little bit early, a little over an hour later, I got down here there was just a couple of sneezes left. And I was over here, uh, right where I am right now, and the ladies were in another part of the building in the children's area at, a, at some long tables. And I sneezed and one of the ladies yelled from the other part of the building, God bless you. I sneezed a couple more times. That was the end of my full-blown cold. It was gone. And by the time we left here and went home, there was no trace of it. I rebuked it. I had rebuked it. Yesterday, two separate occasions, I rebuked people who had been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And on Monday, there was another one brought to my house. There's been three this week. Three people with terminal cancer. Two of them were brought to my house, and one of them, somebody picked me up and took me to his house. We're not going to let these people die of cancer. I rebuked that cancer in Jesus' name. These people will be fine. Glory to God. What would Jesus do? He would rebuke it. The reason Jesus rebuked the cancer in Peter's mother was because that cancer can... That, or that, that I'm, thought, I'm sorry, the, the fever, the fever in Peter's mother, the reason he rebuked it was because that fever can hear. There is a spirit, an evil spirit causing that fever. That, fear, that spirit could hear Jesus. And there's an evil spirit that causes cancer. And that, that spirit can hear me. When I use the name of Jesus, it obeys me. It leaves and people get better. We have had literally hundreds of them. I couldn't tell you, maybe a thousand. I don't know, but just, it just, it, it I, I told both these people, I said, now this is a big deal for you. I understand that, but it's routine for us. I rebuke cancer all the time. People get better. I rebuke heart disease. People get healed of that. I rebuke diabetes. People get healed of that. Glory to God. Sickness can hear because of the evil spirit. And that's why Jesus healed all who were oppressed of the devil. We do the same thing. Glory to God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. If you're sick, get a hold of me. Come here. We'll get you healed. There's no reason for anybody to die of sickness or disease. We will rebuke that disease and get you healed. We accept no offerings from sick people. No money. You can't buy healing. Amen. Jesus has already provided it. All we do is tap into it. Glory to God. Increasenow.com. All my contact information is there. We will get you healed because we will do the same thing that Jesus did. We will rebuke the fever or the cancer or whatever you got. Remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.